Hey guys, how do you do? Welcome to Aisha Program Users TV. Of course, as you guys have been have known for some time now, we've been doing some uh we've been actually exploring some of the coolest projects in the web. Just exploring how we can make use of them in our personal projects. Today, this brings us right here to the sortable list. A sortable list, these are lists whose items of course can be sorted just by dragging and dropping them. For instance, say this is Delta right here, I want to uh, define my custom sort. I want to make it the first item. Of course, in our list, I'd simply drag it to the first one. Take note, it was index 4. After dragging it, it's now of course index 1. Okay, this is what we're talking about right here. Now, this type of project can actually be important. For instance, say you want to allow, of course, uh, some blogger or administrator of some web project to be able to, of course, define a custom sort just by dragging and dropping the items. All right. So we just allow him, for instance, say it's, of course, a list of blog posts. He can simply drag, of course, and then arrange the blog posts and sort them in his own custom way. So this is what we're going to do right here uh, using a sortable list. We're going to make use of two libraries. First, the dragable.js, which is going to enable us to be able to drag and drop, of course, our list items. Also going to be making use of the twinmax.js. Take note, of course, as you drag, you can see the nice animations right here. The twinmax.js is, of course, allowing us for that. Of course, we're also going to use the normalized CSS, which is going to help us, of course, uh, by providing a cruise platform uh, rendering of the elements okay across different browsers this is it let's start now this is a client side project we're going to have three files html css as well as the js our javascript so first of course let's start with the html code right here of course the first thing given that these are html we're going to use the html open the html tag of course, we will also need to close it. Then, of course, our header tag right here. We have the meta. We also have the title. Then, we are going to reference two CSS files, right? One of them is a third party, the normalize.css. Normalize, of course, the minified version uh, of it. We're going to reference it right here from Cloudflare. So, normalize, its purpose is very simple. It's going to help us, of course, in rendering the HTML elements of our projects consistently acro across different browsers. We're also going to have the style.css which is going to style our list. Remember we're using a list right here. So style.css right here will define it. Of course it's going to provide us of course with custom uh, styling of our list. Then we close our header, we open the body, then in the section right here we're going to have the container okay we open of course the container which is going to contain our list so this is our list right here div class list item now in our list item we're going to have of course this div right here item content inside the item content we're going to have of course right here the order Actually, we're going to have right here the index, which is 1, and then, of course, the value, in this case, which is alpha. All right, that's our first list item. We close both divs. We open the second uh, list item right here, item content. Then, of course, 2, which is the index. Then, of course, bravo, which is our second list item. No, we only have four list items. Of course, we're defining them manually. So, that's it. Just... Uh, of course, uh, just we're just defining them manually. Now, once we have those four items, of course, we're going to close our section right here. Then, reference three scripts, all right? Three JavaScript files. The first one, as you can see, is the minified version of our twinmax.js. Now, what's the purpose of this twinmax.js? Well, it's going to help us, of course, with the animation uh, for our list. Remember? We're dragging the list items, we're going to be animating them, okay? Then, so, that one, toolmax.js is going to be helping us in that. Then we're going to have the draggable, the JS, uh, the minified version of it. 
the draggable as you can guess is going to help us with causing the drag and drop of all these items lastly of course our index.js we're going to write our javascript code lastly we close the body we close the html tag if we come to the css as you can see right here the css is just for styling our list the html body right here height 100 percent body okay as you guys can see right here these are simple css file just for styling our list items right, right? then lastly we're going to move to a javascript file this one as you can see this is our javascript code uh, right here the first thing that we're going to do we're defining the use strict directive now if we use the use strict as from version uh, javascript uh, ecms script version 5 and above the use strict directive is going to enable of course execution of the javascript code uh, in this particular script of course in the strict mode all right now if you use the strict mode uh, you're going to for example some of the things that could be actually uh, previously the previous versions of javascript could actually ignore like say you have not declared a variable all right if you use the strict mode it's going to flag errors it's going to raise errors so you have to for instance declare your variables so we define right here this directive is strict so that our code is going to be executed in the strict mode then we're going to have the five uh, definition five variables right here that we're going to declare of course globally all right we're declaring globally meaning that they can be used uh, throughout this particular script so var size is equal to 100 for container document dot query selector container now as you can guess right here container this variable we are simply referencing of course the container from our html you see this section known as container this is what we are referencing from our uh, in our javascript just from of course our html okay so we come right here of course we're just uh, referencing this is a container class now the list items array dot from document dot query selector list item we are simply of course referencing just fetching the list items of course from our Jav from our html document then sortables lists items dot map sortable this is a function right here that we're going to define later on then total sortables dot length well we come to inlight dot to container now this is going of course to animate our list item then we come right here we are going to look at some of the functions defined now change index as you can see is going to change uh, the index of the item that has been dragged okay for instance if you drag from the last list item if you drag it to the first we're going to change its index from the last to the first sortable right here this is also a function we're going to have a uh, right here then set index also a function down action right here just for animation then drag action also uh right here of course when you drag okay when you drag an item this is a function right here of course app action uh just the animation for actually uh when you drag a list item from down to up Right. so as you can see as uh, the source code right here is actually uh, self-explanatory then array move then of course clamp those are functions right here in our script it's actually a simple script you guys can go ahead copy the source code of course we're leaving the link down below all right these are two sortable list tutorial in the next class we'll go actually going to look at a sortable grid so that's it we're leaving the link below take care I'll catch you in the next class.